My name's John McLennan, and I'm here today with Guitar Control, and I'm excited to bring you some great new tips that are really going to advance your guitar playing. So the first thing I want to talk about is a simple trick that uh, will help a beginning guitar player and also an advanced player. And uh, what I find c common is, let's say you're working on a tune and it has a set of changes in it, and there's certain chords that are tough, they're new, and you're trying to get from one chord to another and be there right on the downbeat or at the speed of, of a record. And so one of the things that can help, and I'm just going to use a C chord as an example today, so hopefully everybody knows your C chord. And uh, what, what I find common is people go, okay, so the, here's the C. I'm going to put this finger down, and this finger, and then this finger. Okay, I'm, and then I strum it. And uh, so the first finger becomes like a nice anchor point. And again, this is going to be different for everybody because everybody's hands are a little different. They might find the third finger easiest or something. But, but they build the chord up uh, in a certain fashion. And then what I want you to do is reverse that. So basically, if your first finger is easy and that goes down first, I want you to put your third finger down first because that's like going to the hard notes first. And you'll find once you get those down that your anchor points are those first notes that you would always put down uh, just fall into place. So the concept is you're not just practicing one way all the time. You play the chord and then you flip it. So reverse fingering. And this can apply to a C chord or it could apply to something like a minor 11th chord. You know, so a real crazy tough chord or just easy. So. Hope this helps, and uh, be sure to click the links below, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.